Hi guys, and thank you for tuning in with me, your girl Zesty and the Zesty Poo Crew. So today, y'all, I'm so excited to announce I'm making meatloaf. Yeah, baby. So what I have here is I have a half of a large yellow onion. I have about three cloves of garlic. I have a whole small bell pepper. I'm gonna have brown sugar. I'm gonna use ketchup, chicken stock, breadcrumbs. That's right, tomato sauce. I mean, spaghetti sauce. It's not gonna be a lot, don't worry, no fear. Uh, Lipton onion soup mix, eggs, ground thyme, nature seasoning. I'm gonna also have garlic powder, onion powder, and W sauce. It's Wishire sauce, y'all. And I'm also gonna have uh, some ground beef. I got almost two and a half pounds of ground beef. So let's get started. So what I've done is I've added a tablespoon of butter and I am now going to saute my garlic. You don't wanna burn it. Just get it in there until flagrant. Just open it up a little bit. Now, I'm going to add my bell pepper. That was chopped. And I'm gonna also put my onion in here. I was actually inspired by Ina Garten. I think I'm saying her name right, Ina Garten. I really love her cooking. I mean, she is wholesome. She makes you feel like it's okay to go outside of the box. So I was inspired by Ina Garten for this meatloaf. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you cook the veggies until they're translucent. And you wanna just give it a slow medium. Cook them on low medium, I'm sorry. Cause you don't wanna burn them. Cause these veggies are gonna give your meatloaf all the flavor that you need. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, maybe a teaspoon of each. So here's a teaspoon of salt. And then we have a teaspoon of pepper. And then we're just gonna cook them until they get soft. Not mushy, but you want them to be soft. It smells so good. So now I'm turning my oven, I mean my uh, stove off and I'm gonna add three tablespoons of Wishire sauce and I'm gonna let this cool. Cause the thing about it is you don't want, um, you don't wanna put this hot into the meatloaf cause what'll happen is it'll cook your eggs. Cause remember we have two scrambled eggs to add. I mean, <laughs> two scrambled eggs. No, we have two eggs. Not scrambled, do not scramble your egg. Do not scramble your eggs. Yeah, baby. All right, y'all, so we're gonna let this cool and we're gonna go back over to our uh, preparation station. Now what I'm gonna do now that our veggies have cooled a little bit, I'm gonna put them right in this mix. I'm sorry about the, the noise for those of you who have sensitivity. I use my cast iron and it's heavy, so it was hitting up against the, uh, the bowl. And I apologize for that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack two eggs. And you don't wanna over mix the meatloaf. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gently place everything in here and then I'm gonna give it a nice little mix. I'm also gonna add one third cup of that spaghetti sauce you seen earlier, any spaghetti sauce of your kind, or you can add a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. I like spaghetti sauce in mine. I just do, I've been doing this for a long time. A friend of mine told me um, that he used that and I just started using it and I'm telling you it changed my life. I love the meatloaf with the spaghetti sauce. But like I said, feel free to use tomato paste if you want. In any of any Garden's recipe, she does use tomato paste. So this is a half a cup of breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna also add in a little bit of chicken stock, not too much, probably about, I'm gonna say probably about two table, three tablespoons. Let's say three tablespoons. Cause you don't want it too wet. And I chose to put sauce in there. 
So now I'm gonna add some nature seasoning, my favorite. This thing is gonna be bumping with flavor. I'm gonna add some onion powder. And this is where I just eyeball my seasonings, to be honest with you. And then I'm gonna add some garlic powder. I'm also gonna add a uh, half a pack of the beefy onion Lipton, Lipton onion soup mix. I don't think I need a whole pack. I'm just gonna add a half pack. Then we're just gonna get, oh, and also I'm gonna add in some thyme, I'm so sorry. So this is some ground thyme. You can use fresh thyme if you want. I just like the herby effects that the thyme gives my meatloaf. And honestly, I'm gonna get in here with my hands. It's the best way to get in a meatloaf. And again, you don't wanna over, over mix it. Oh, and I have my oven set to 350. And what I did was, and I did get this tip from Enya Garden, she put a pan of water up underneath the meatloaf while it cooks, so that way it will be moist. So you just wanna make sure all of your ingredients are incorporated. And when we put it in the oven, we're gonna put it in there on 350 for about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. And I already have the pan of water in the bottom rack so that way while it's cooking it can give it that moisture and i think this is mixed good enough i'm gonna leave it be so what i'm doing now is i'm just gonna plop the meat onto uh, a flat sheet lined with a little bit of parchment paper if you don't have parchment paper you can just use a pan i just like using parchment paper so that that way oh it's already molded out flat just the way i want it so, and I'm going to top this off with a little ketchup and I'm going to mix it with some liquid smoke and about a tablespoon of brown sugar. So it's about a half cup of ketchup. I put that tablespoon of brown sugar and I'm just going to hit it with some liquid smoke. This is just optional. You do not have to um, use it if you don't want to. And this is going to be the spread that I'm gonna put over our meatloaf. And also, I sometimes put a little extra towards the end. If you want more ketchup, then you can, but I like to bake it with that ketchup on there. So now, I'm just going to put this on top of my meatloaf. And I'm sure I'll probably put some more ketchup, cause I like mine more ketchupy. But this is just so that way you can get that nice, full, crust from the ketchup and the brown sugar as it caramelizes it's gonna be bomb.com yeah baby so y'all i hope you guys try this recipe i'm looking forward to seeing what it's gonna look like when it comes out i've made this meatloaf a thousand times probably but honestly i've added more as i went like i didn't know anything about the lifted onion soup mix that was fairly a new idea, as well as sauteing the vegetables before um, I put it in the mixture. So that was a good, good tactic. And I'm also gonna probably sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder on here. And again, 350, and I'm gonna check it at about an hour and 10 minutes. And the ground beef that I have is 80-20. And that's a little onion powder. I'm gonna hit it with a tad bit of nature seasoning. Not too much, not too much, not too much. And we're going in the oven. All right, Zesty Puku, I just got it out of the oven. I wanna show y'all something. Look how moist this is. Mm, 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 mm. It's still hot, y'all. I let it rest for a little while. Ooh. I'm gonna take a little, let's see. I wanna show y'all. I want you to literally take a bite of this. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. It's hot though. I'm not even gonna taste it because I'm scared I'm gonna burn my tongue. So this is it. This is it, y'all. I hope you try this meatloaf. It is amazing. 
Um, I love Ina Garden. In Ina Garden. Um, and also other family members and friends who have contributed to this recipe. Um, it's really good. I hope you try it. Uh, put your own twist on it, whatever you want to do. Um, leave me some little cow emojis and let me know what you did. If you did something different, what I could do different or add to. Hey, I always welcome everything. We're a family around here, right? So family helps family. So with that being said, I want you guys to continue to love out loud, continue taking care of yourself. I hope that everybody is healthy and doing well. Um, I pray for you guys daily. With that being said, I'm going to read the positive quote and I'm going to let you get back to your day. It says, don't downgrade your dreams to match your reality. Upgrade your belief to match your vision. And this came from Lindsay Anderson on Pinterest. Y'all, believe in yourself. Believe in your vision. Don't go off of how you feel or what you can see, but rather go off of what you know that God has invested in you. If God gave you a vision, he might not have given everybody else that vision. So therefore, it's not necessary for you to get validation. Stop seeking validation and seek more of God and walk into your vision, walk into your destiny. And I'm going to leave y'all right there because y'all, that can be a whole sermon in itself. I love each and every one of you guys. Believe in yourself. Love out loud. Y'all take care. Until next time. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I got I to gotta do it, y'all. Yeah, baby.